there is a moment that really needs to happen for every person. And that moment usually happens sometime between the ages of, I don't know, pick a number, 14 and 24, usually and hopefully around the age of 17 or 18, when all of a sudden a light bulb goes off in your head and you think, wait a minute, nobody else is responsible for my welfare. Now, before I dive into this a little bit further, talking about self-reliance and a sense of responsibility and not making the mistake of pinning your welfare on someone else's promise or perceived obligation, let me just say that we've talked about this before on this channel, sort of obliquely, you know, self-reliance. And we're going to talk about it again because it's a subject that deserves a lot of conversation. But today I just want to talk for a short period of time about the, the pitfall that it is to expect that just because somebody's taking care of us from birth to age 12, and just because guidance counselors and mentors and doctors and hopefully parents and just a large lineup of people seem to be poised to take care of us and provide for our needs while we're teenagers and sometimes into our 20s. It's a competitive advantage to recognize early in life that if I am going to move forward in my life, it's going to happen because of my effort. Now, before I say one more sentence, I want you to understand that I'm not talking about refusing to be a resource for other people because they have a responsibility for their, their welfare. Not only am I not talking about that, but I just want to throw down right now that that's false. It's a false notion. What I'm talking about is that it is self-limiting and self-defeating to expect anybody else to take responsibility for me or for you because people can fail us. People can fail us because of accident or death. People can fail us because they lied to us the first time or because their resources are exhausted or because they get the idea that, wow, this young guy's got an entitlement mentality and he's just taken me for a ride and they shut it off. So for any number of reasons, someone that you had sort of pinned your hopes on could go away and you're left having to rely on yourself like you should have to begin with. Another way to think about this is becoming an adult as early as you can. And what that does is it makes you instantly a peer of the other adults in your world, whether they are two years older or 20 years older or 60 years older. Adults relate to each other as adults. Can you see the advantage that it is as a young person to take responsibility for yourself and be able to engage with the potential mentors around you as an adult. They're gonna take you more seriously. They're gonna recognize you as someone that if they do and can invest in you is not likely to waste that investment. So that is one of the worlds of opportunity that open up before us when we take responsibility for ourselves. Another opportunity that suddenly snaps into focus is the opportunity to compete with all those people. As soon as you realize that as a fully functional adult, autonomous, responsible for your own welfare and progression, you realize that, wait a minute, I am in competition with every other person like that. And you stop waiting around for that golden moment when someone with the resources to help you magically shows up. And you start thinking about, what can I do with the resources that I have to move towards the goals that I'm setting for myself? So as usual, I find myself speaking to men, right? But that's just my own limitation, my own, the way I talk, because this applies to everybody, everybody. The sooner you can come to the realization that there's a difference between being childish and being childlike. Some of my favorite people have that spontaneity and that, that willingness to have fun that comes with being a child. But at the earliest possible moment, young people, you gotta flip the switch and realize, wait a minute, if I'm going to have a fulfilling, beautiful, accomplished life, it's gonna be because of my efforts and because I take responsibility for that. 
not because the government does, not because my teachers do, not because my parents do or my brother or my uncle or my granddad, but because I take responsibility for a fulfilling life. A big part of that path to a fulfilling life, according to Jordan Peterson, and I agree, is in taking responsibility. It's picking up as heavy a load as you can, he says, and walking straight uphill with it. That's what it means to be an adult. And the sooner all of us can not only accept that, but find satisfaction in it, the sooner we will all be grown up in the best sense. Now, I've said all this, but I, I don't want you to think for a second that mentorship and real help is not a real important thing. Because from a certain perspective, there's no such thing as a self-made man. I mean, we all come from somewhere and people cross our paths and can change our stars, right? And so I, I just have to acknowledge a few people and I, I've got to keep this pretty much to people who have passed away because if I start acknowledging all the people still living who have helped me, I'm going to hurt some feelings. I don't want to do that. And my dad's still alive. But I have to say, my folks were the primary mentors in my life. Grandparents, uh, some, didn't know them too well. But Kelly's granddad, Sam Ball, and Leo Folsom, and Bob Hovenden, and Mr. Trollinger, and Neil Groves, and Nelson Brinkerhoff, and a list as long as your leg of people still living who have made a huge impact on my life. And part of being responsible for yourself means becoming a mentor for other people for the good that it does you and them. It's a symbiotic relationship. You can't reach out and lift another human without strengthening yourself. So it's part of becoming an adult. It's taking responsibility for people around you and not expecting the people around you to take responsibility for yourself. It's a delicate dance, but everything about being a fully functioning adult human is a delicate dance. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.